Hey friends, what's up, Kaz here. Welcome to the last bit of the Essentials X tutorial. And this bit is in regards to the administrator or moderators of it. And it's a whole lot of basically just permissions, not a whole lot of commands. I mean, you got your slash mute, slash ban, slash kick, slash ban IP, slash temp ban, all that stuff. Um, so essentials.mute, essentials.mute.exempt, essentials.mute.notify, and essentials.mute.offline. That the notify part is so that you get notified when people get muted um, or unmuted, all that stuff. And then the, the offline is so that that player can then mute p players who are offline as well. This is kind of all managed in the line 175 of the config. I kind of wanted to point out there that you can, if your players, even though they're mute, they're like spamming through some other plugin to do a bunch of stuff so that they're heard. You can also have it mute other commands from other plugins in there so that they can't do that when they're full on muted. So you would just do, we'll do the slash mute and then you do the player and then um, how long they need to be muted for. And I believe it's in seconds there. Now you can also do an, a, a kick and all the permission nodes are pretty much the same as mute. You got your uh, default one, then exempt notify. And then you also have an option to kick all. So rather than kick and then the player name and then a reason, they get that reason when they're kicked, you can just do kick all and it's going to kick all players from the server which is pretty slick so be careful who you give access to that the exempt allows players to be to bypass that kick so you can have all your moderators or admins have that so when you do kick all and everybody gets off the server for developing they'll still be there to help out so you have essentials.tempman, so that is a temp ban command so you got your temp ban player name how long they're banned for and then the reason so if you have days i believe you can do like one w for one week or one d for one day in there for the time frame as well as that works for mute but you have um, pretty much all the same permission nodes like you do for mute and kick there's two other ones you can ban based upon the ip address as well which is nice so you can do ban ip and then if you know the ip address of that user um, temp ban is the same thing, or you could just do slash ban, which is going to be the player and then the player reason. So that's going to ban their username, not their IP address. Um, so they have other usernames, they, they'll usually hop on with that. Now there's also an essentials.tempman.mlimited that is going to bypass the maximum time frame that you can, uh, mute or kick, or, uh, I mean, sorry maximum time frame that you can temporarily ban somebody by default that's negative one which means unlimited anyway and then of course you're going to need essentials.unban if you want to unban people or essentials.unban ip now that's pretty much straightforward it's all permission node based the commands are really straightforward as well now there's a lot of um difficulties with using essentials x like you can't warn players which is kind of unfortunate there's a lot of great other administrator administrator or moderator tools out there however essentials x gets the job done and it's all built in so hopefully that guy helps you get started this is cause reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless <laughs>